ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. My name is Fizz, and today we're going to take a look at the King Titan himself. That is right, there's three variations of the King Titan that you can spawn. He is the last boss of Extinction. And like I said, there's three variations that you can spawn. Gamma King Titan, Beta King Titan, and finally the Alpha King Titan, which goes towards more of the story. I think the other two are just more of reference for easier difficulties. But in other case, this guy is it. This is the final boss of Ark. This is why everything is, I don't know. To be honest, there's a big story and I haven't really read much about it. So I really can't tell you about it, but basically he is the big bad boy. So we gotta take him out. So this is gonna be a video explaining his abilities and everything and what you need to prepare uh, as well as gathering and stuff for where his location and everything. This is not a strategy guide. This guy is massive. Uh, it, I'll figure this out during my survival series, which will be streamed on Twitch. You can check that in the link description down below, as well as my YouTube channel, which you're watching the video at. So let's go over all his abilities, showcase them all, and uh, let's have some fun. Alright, so the first thing we even have to do is explain that this guy is extremely difficult. If you have not tamed yourself, or even killed yourself, the Ice Titan... The Forest Titan and the Desert Titan, you are not prepared for this guy because you need all three of these guys and have already killed three of these guys to even access even one of these guys. That's right, for even one of these difficulties, you need their heads, their trophy mounts. Remember in the videos that we did? You need those trophy mounts as well as you need them tamed anyways because this guy hurts a lot. Alright, so for Gamma difficulty, you need five Alpha T-Rex teeth. You need 150 Corrupted Hearts, you need 10 Titan Bone of Venom, and obviously all three of the heads from the other Titans. The Beta Titan requires 10 T-Rex Teeth, 300 Corrupted Hearts, 20 Titan Bone of Venom, as well as all three of the other Titans, as well as the Gamma Titan Head himself. And finally, the Alpha Titan. The Alpha Titan requires 10 T-Rex Teeth, 300 Corrupted Hearts, 20 Giga Hearts, 20 Spino Sails, 20 Titan Venom, as well as all three of the other Titans, and as well as the Beta King Titan Head himself. Now, for summoning him, you probably don't want to go through the hassle of what is about to happen, but you can go up this little ramp area, at this cords up here, and etc. But nonetheless, so you're at, if you're at this point, you're going to walk your Titans up there, kill everything one shot, and you're going to cryopod your entire rest of the army with mechs and all this other stuff because you don't... You know, you're not going to walk through all this. You're going to prepare, you're going to probably take a couple hours to prepare, and, you know, you're going to knock this out of the park. Alright, so I'm going to go over the abilities, but keep in mind, this guy was really hard to record for the ability, so I'm just going to go over them real quick, exactly what they do, and then I'm going to show you guys some gameplay of me actually fighting it. Now, keep in mind, it's solo, so my tech mech is a lot stronger than it should be, as well as uh, it's single player, because, yeah, it's single player. Alright, so the first ability you want to be aware of is his foot stomps as well as his tail slaps. So basically what is going to happen is that if you get too close to him, he'll use his feet to smash the ground. And as well as if you're behind him and get too close, he'll use his tail as a tail slam. Um, so basically these do a lot of damage. Uh, so be very, very aware of that. You kind of just want to be moved away from him at all times. Um, he will try to walk towards you as much as possible. Uh, but be aware, you want to be very far away from his feet as well as his tail. There's also another slam ability, the two-hand slam. Basically, he'll smash the ground with his two hands if he gets really close to you in front of him. And he'll do a massive amount of damage. There is a little bit of wheelie that you could probably walk around and walk away from it. But I highly recommend just don't get to that point. Get the heck out of there. 
Another ability he does is Elemental Fireball. This ball is a full of elemental, liquid elemental that basically will charge at three to locations or one location depending on when he wants to do it. Uh, be aware, this will burn whatever it hits, so be very cautious of it. It hurts a lot, and uh, yeah, don't get hit by it. All right, so another ability you want to be aware of is called Swatting Charge. Basically, he'll run forward and just swat back and forth with his hand, swatting anything in front of him back. So beware of that, because that doesn't do a knockback. Now, during the fight, he will start summoning meteors around. These also do a fire damage as well if you walk in them, and as well as you uh, actually get hit by them. So please don't do that. And as well as the first time you start seeing them is the elemental veins. That's right, elemental veins. There are two elemental vein waves in this boss fight that you have to complete. Now, just like the ones in the worlds, you do not want to destroy the elemental vein. You want to protect it, because if you do protect it, he will not regain health. If you destroy it, or the cryptic creeps is destroyed, he will gain health. So you want to make sure you don't. Personally, I had no luck whatsoever doing this when I was testing it. I could never complete it. I always killed it accidentally, or the cryptic creatures kill it. So I don't know how you're going to do this. Uh, personally, but there is a little tip bit that you can do. There's two locations on the uh, battlefield that it only will summon. In my case, that's the only two places I found that it would summon. Is uh, here and here. Now, also during the fight, he will do this thing that he lifts his hand up in the air and starts doing an electrical charge that will punch the ground. Now, you want to shoot this as much as possible. You want to do as much damage as possible to him because Basically, you can't use your weapons like tech uh, guns or anything or tech related or anything. Basically, it's kind of an EMP blast that's happening. And he will basically, if you don't do it, he'll smash the ground. And basically, your stuff will be, you know, a couple a couple seconds or so that you can't use anything. But that's good for him because then he can smash your face in. Also, another thing to be wary is during the fight, there will be these massive elemental tumors if you allow these to pop on their own they will spawn a giga these gigas hurt a lot they're elemental corrupted gigas you don't want them to spawn at all so make sure you go over there and destroy them you get a little debuff if you kill them uh, but it's more worth it to get that debuff than to have this giga running around because the giga it, it hurts a lot more than the pus All right, so now we're going to go over some of the Alpha Titan thing. Now, pr pretty much the Alpha Titan just basically does the same abilities, but there's one catch with this. If you have four mechs, that's right, four mechs, and you have actually killed the Beta Titan, you can actually get this new thing called Mother Eye. And basically what this thing does is allows you to combine four of these mechs, your mechs that you have, into a Mega Mech to fight the Alpha King Titan. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Now, some tidbits of information about this uh, Mega Mech. This Mega Mech only can be summoned with the Alpha Titan, as well as he cannot be... He can't run away. If you run away, he self-destructs, and as well as after the fight is over, he also self-destructs. It kind of sucks, but there'll be probably a mod soon for it to be amazing, so, eh, oh well. Alrighty, so here's some tidbits of information that you probably want to go into with this fight. One, you want an entire tribe of people. Two, you want to be prepared to lose a lot. This is going to be a very costly fight. 
you want to make sure you have a lot of resources ready to be lost because you're going to lose a lot during this fight. And if you're not ready for that, you're probably not ready to fight this. Three, make sure you have all three Titans. Now, the Titans now have now have a one day timer. So I don't actually know how effective this is. I don't even know how you're going to kill this guy. You really need the Titans. You need all three of them. So it's going to be really interesting to say that. And and four, you need a lot of mechs. Make sure you bring lots of mechs. Make sure you bring extra mechs. Make sure you bring mechs that you haven't even made yet. Make sure you just have backup mechs because these mechs are going to be very useful. And as well as five, be aware of what he's doing. Now, they're also... The King Titan himself will target first the titans so he's going to target all three of the other titans first so that means you kind of have a leeway of where you can kind of control them uh so for instance if you're gonna try and use the dead of titan maybe you want to use the dead of titan to face him away from everyone so that way it's not gonna hit him uh hit like his stuff like you know his abilities will hit other people um maybe also set up some people to be ready for the elemental veins when they pop up so that way they can take care of that as well because when you when the elemental veins are up you can't really do that much damage to him so you kind of you know you kind of just want to get those veins done kill them or you know save them i personally couldn't save them when my testing but it's only one man army versus all these elemental uh, corrupted creatures so that's a thing and lastly the last thing i would say is have fun and good luck because this guy is amazing best boss in my opinion so far i think rock Royal is pretty close he was really a good fight but this is going to be a challenge but anyways if you guys like this video leave a thumbs up like share comment anyway i'm sorry this video took so long this was supposed to be out last week as you can tell there was a lot of i re-recorded re-edited and a lot of stuff i did a lot of things with this video so i'm very sorry but anyways, that's it. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, I would love to see what you guys' strats are going to be, because uh, <laughs> this guy's a beast.